Welcome back, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Today I have a very special video for you. This is the Diecast Masters Commemorative Series Caterpillar D11T Track Type Tractor in copper finish. The item number is 85517. So, story behind this particular model, this was one of the first commemorative finishes that Diecast Masters offered a few years ago. They have since come out with a D11T in the silver matte finish, which again, if you want to see that video, there will be a suggested link at the end of this video, so you can check that out as well if you haven't already seen that. Um, they've also come out with a black uh, 420 backhoe in um, a very... Very special and unique looking black onyx finish. There's also been a 797F haul truck in, um, in, I believe, copper as well that looks spectacular. So every once in a while, and, and who can forget, of course, the 390 excavator that they did um, as well. So every once in a while, they, they take a few of the very popular cat machines and do these commemorative special finishes. And these are intended for... Um, gifts to you know eat, to celebrate anniversaries or retirements and to add to that these come with a little plink that you can engrave you know happy anniversary happy and happy retirement whatever um, and then give to the person obviously that you want to so these are so much more and they represent so much more than just a scale model so let's go ahead and unbox this together and take a look at it Again, this was one of the first ones that Diecast Masters did. Going back to the Norscott days, uh, there was several D11s that they did as well in commemorative finishes. There was gold ones, bronze ones, copper ones, silver ones. Um, again, all of those adding to the heritage of the cat uh, collector and the special finishes. So I know I'm kind of going on a little bit, but that is important because it all ties into this. And if you have those, this is going to, again, make another excellent addition to your collection. And if you consider yourself a construction collector, you're going to want to add those to your collection because they are all produced in limited numbers and very, very highly sought after. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, kind of a personal story here, and then I will stop rambling, but this is all relevant and important. Uh, the bronze Norscott D11 was, of all the cat models, that was the hardest one for me to track down. I didn't pull the trigger on it initially when it, when it came out. Uh, I don't know why, for one reason or another, I just didn't get it. And uh, it took me over 10 years to, to track down and find one. Uh, and I don't see that changing with these commemorative finishes in limited editions again, too. Especially since, for the most part, they're being bought and customized as gifts. So, all right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then the model. So the commemorative series come in this outer style packaging with cat on it. There's the description. There's the aforementioned item number. On the back and on the sides, you have just the Diecast Masters Real Replicas logo. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a look at it here. And these commemorative series models, very similar to the Evolution series models, if you've seen those videos on my channel. Uh, they come in flip-style packaging, which personally, and I can attest for several other collectors as well, I very much like... So there it is. You have the uh, tractor here in kind of like this flat black in the background with a silver style box. Once again, cat, your item number. On the back, there is the real D11 at work. And this little paragraph here reads, Cat D11T track type tractor. This legendary Cat D11T track type tractor combines power and efficiency with advanced technology to help mine and quarry operators the world over advance their businesses. Now, another important uh, detail to announce and, and really point out here is that the bronze D11T is the older style D11T, whereas the, the silver map one, uh, again, which you may have already seen on this channel, is the JEL design. So they are two completely different models in two completely different style commemorative finishes. This is the way that the model opens up, and I know it's a little bit hard to see, but there is another picture back here. Inside you have your catalog, and also here is your 
nameplate, and this is kind of what I was telling you about, nameplate may be removed and custom engraved on the reverse side. So it comes st uh, standard with Cat D11T track type tractor. You can remove it, and as I mentioned before, you know, congratulations on your retirement or what whatnot. So fantastic idea by Diecast Masters. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this one here. You have to remove the packaging straps very carefully. This piece of plastic comes off, and then this piece of plastic folds backwards. Now just be careful how you lift this thing out. There you go. The nameplate and custom engraving is under this piece of plastic, but again, since you basically already have seen it, there's no need to remove this and waste more time there. You know what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way, and we'll focus in on the model itself. So it is in that gorgeous copper style finish. I hope that my camera is paying this justice here, because in 1 to 50 scale, this is just truly a remarkable and beautiful model in every sense of the word here. So... Most everything on here is done up in that copper style finish. The tracks, obviously, the ripper, the blade, the main dozer itself. However, some of the highlighting on here, such as the grab rails and the, um, the access railings here, as well as these protection rails, these hand and grab rails on top of the cab, those are done up in black, which looks nice. Your decals here, Cat D11T, cat right here they have a black background with cat and d11t shown through in that copper finish which looks amazing same thing here on the back with cat and we'll go ahead and move it over here so you can see it a little bit better there you go with cat the tracks and you know your drive sprocket up here all of that is made to work it's functional uh, but again for the most part you're not really going to want to for lack of a better word, and I know this is taboo in our community, but you're not going to want to play with this model. You're not going to want to put it in the diorama. You're not going to want to move it around too much. You're either going to want to leave it in the box or put it on the with the nameplate. Um, because these are, again, these are so rare. They're limited edition. They're special finishes. You're not going to want to put this in a diorama too much. But if you do want to pose it, the Ripper is positionable just like the regular D11T by Diecast Masters. Uh, the blade is also positionable. You can angle it slightly. It will go up and down. Again, your tracks move. There is no operator figure in the cab. The cab does not open. Here is a amazing view. Look at that coloration on the blade there. And I know it depends on what color it looks like by the angle that the light hits it. But for the most part, my goodness, that is just an amazing amazing model so the d11t you have your twin exhaust your twin air air intakes all of your all of the detail is there again that is rep that is uh, representative of the regular d11t 150 scale you can get by them uh, one small detail here is that your connecting bolts they are done in silver as you can see here it doesn't detract too much for them from the model but as you can see, they are silver. And if we look underneath, do this very carefully here. If you look underneath, you can see where the tractor mounts to the display. You have your 1 to 50 scale right here and your Diecast Masters logo right there. And again, you can see the trackpad and the Lynx detail, as well as your blade detail and your underside of the tractor or the dozer so there you have it collectors that is the review the long-awaited review of the diecast masters caterpillar commemorative series in 1 to 50 scale d11t dozer in the commemorative copper finish my opinion hands down this is a must own for any caterpillar collector or construction collector um, again if you have the the other commemorative models that have come out, whether it's the Silver Mat, um, other D11 that I will post a link right now, a suggested link on the top of your screen, so that you can look and see that one, maybe compare and contrast, figure out which one you're going to want to add to your collection first, because believe me, you're going to want to add both of these to your collection at some point. 
Um, or you want the, the 390 in the gunmetal finish that came out a few years ago. All of those in 1 to 50 scale look fantastic together. Again, all excellent, excellent models. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, be safe. We will see you in the next video.